everybody. Today I am going to show you how to create dimensions in AutoCAD. Here I have taken a complex object which composed of different geometric objects like lines, circles and arcs. Important point is when dimensioning the drawing, it shows measurements, the locations and the angle of objects. So the dimensioning variables and dimensioning styles are used to set the dimensions to the required parameters. Another important point, dimension should be placed on the dimensioning layer. Object, it is with layer 1. But for dimension, I have taken layer 2 for dimensions. And another important point, the line weight of dimension when plotting should be significantly smaller than that of object lines. Here we can see AutoCAD, it offers a wide variety of ways to produce linear dimensions. I mean, here we can see linear means horizontal dimension, vertical dimension. Also, we can see aligned dimensions, angular dimensions, arc length dimensions, radius dimensions, diameter dimensions, and so on. Also, I am going to show you how to create baseline dimensions and continued dimensions. So let's start first with linear dimension. I mean horizontal and vertical dimension with aligned. So let's first start here creating a linear dimension. I mean horizontal dimension. And dimension basically it is based on two things choosing the line ends or object chosen. Here I am going to show, say, I am selecting the extension line, this is first point, extension line origin, this is second point. So I get the dimension here. And once I get the dimension, before placing it in the perfect location, I did not place it yet, have the option to change the dimension text. You can see it here. We have the option to change the dimension text, dimension angle, and the dimension direction, horizontal or vertical, as well dim dimension line angles. I mean rotations. We can do that. Right now we are putting directly horizontal. This is one way to do it. Even if I remove it, I can do the dimension, I can create dimension with the second option and it is selecting the object. How to do that? Click linear dimension, press enter, right away it will show you select object to dimension. So select this line and you will get the dimension. So this is linear dimension. So, we can produce vertical dimension also. How? Say, I am creating here one vertical dimension. This is vertical dimension. Even I can create aligned dimension. Here, you can see that aligned dimension. Here and here. This is aligned dimensions. Even between two circles, say linear, between two circle center, I can make, see, 
here I can make vertical dimension between the center of two circle as well I can make horizontal dimensions. Even I can create aligned dimension between the center of two circle like this. See this one. So we got clear picture now how to create horizontal dimension, vertical dimensions and aligned dimensions. So we got it now. Now I will show you how to create from these linear dimension, linear horizontal dimension, how to create continued dimension. Continued dimension means once I have a horizontal or vertical or aligned dimension, I can create dimension continuously. I mean this one, this one, this one. Let's see that, how to do that. How? Click on this dimension. Right away it will appear here. You can choose baseline or continue. Even you can do it by putting command dimension continue. You can put that command also. Dimension continue. So I am choosing here continue. What I will do is specify first extension line origin to continue. Just click here and start from here. New dimension. This is continue dimension. You will get it continuously. How many dimensions you need, you can get it. So this is called continue dimensions. Now I will show you how to create baseline dimension. So let's remove this. I will show you how to create baseline dimension. So click dimension. Then you see here baseline dimension. Here baseline. Even you can put command deem baseline. So click on baseline. It says select the first extension line origin as baseline. So come here and you put here click, then click here, then click here, then click here. So you got baseline dimension. One important point is this offset. How much it is? You can define it. There is a way to do that. But I am showing you how much I got. Say here I go ISO 25. Dimension style. Modify. First check the fit. You see here it is 20. Use overall scale of 20. It means my this dimension size it is 20 times scaled up. So this 20 as well on line baseline spacing it is showing here 8, 8 millimeter. I mean this spacing. But basically this value is 8 multiplied by these 20. It means 160. These is spacing. Let's measure that. 160 is there or not. So take this linear and take from here and here. You see here 160. So a spacing is or offset is 100. 60. So this is baseline dimension. Now let's go for radial dimension. A radial dimension it is here. Radius or diameter. Radial dimension means a radial dimension measure the radius of an arc or circle. 
so how to get that radius so let's click on radius okay click on this circle you got it see here you got it this one. even i take it in nice way in other place also even i can put it inside even i can put it outside also it is this way i got this this is radial dimension radius of an arc or circle now i will show you how to get this one arc length arc length means this is an arc click on arc you will get this fantastic this is arc length dimension it measures the distance along the arc but you can see here one symbol because this display an arc symbol it is by default it is also called as a hat or cap and it is displayed either above the dimension text or preceding the dimension text so we got arc dimensions i mean we got here it is called arc length now let's see that angular angular means it's very easy what is the angle of this say here click here click you will get the angle again if you take this here click and here click here click maybe for this radius it is not coming so i am removing this now it will come because it was interfering this and this so i got this you see here i got this 60 degree this is 60 degree this is called angular dimensions now i'll show you how to get the diameter say so let's this one diameter will come very easy way you see here it will come like this this is diameter then i can show you how to get the ordinate ordinate of a point say any point say i am choosing this point then i am going horizontally according x axis i got the ordinate again click here i go vertically i will get another point so this is ordinate dimension now jogged jog dimension how to get if you look at this arc it is very big surely center of the arc somewhere here but we say i am selecting this arc now specify center location suppose if the center is somewhere here from center to this say line will be like this say this one maybe the center yeah it is showing like that so say i am choosing somewhere here or better somewhere here okay i am choosing somewhere here okay so this is the dimension i got for jot this one jot dimension this one so i got everything we got all the dimensions i think that's all for this complex objects how to create all types of dimension